Get Out There Outdoors is proud to represent the following. You can find them all on Facebook. Wall hangers. Display that European mountain pride. MWD Outdoors. Make them take a dirt nap. A to Z Game Calls. Specializing in custom slate calls. Crime 1 Camo. Be the Predator. Deer Tracks Plaques. For some top quality displays. Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit about the setup of this hunt uh, before we actually get into the footage of the hunt itself. Uh, the setup of this is going to involve hunting a wind that allows the buck to cruise his route uh, with the wind in his face. That's the way he's going to want uh, to cruise, you know. <clears throat> they're going to want to keep the wind in their face so that they can, you know, they can wind everything as they're going along. In doing so, I'm hunting an off wind, okay? You notice in the video, in the footage of this video, this book, this buck is coming in, and he is coming in directly, you know, into the wind. What I've done is I've positioned myself back off of his travel route to where my scent is blowing in the same direction that he's coming from, but just past him, just off of him a little bit. I'm talking about 80 yards. So when this deer comes into play here, comes into the view, he's about 80 yards out. And then I'm able to, I'm able to, that way it gives me an opportunity to try to try to draw him into, into me. And then when he's on his way towards me, he's coming in on a crosswind and he's less likely to wind me in my stand. That's the way that I had this hunt planned uh, and set up. I have mowed a strip along the field edge to try to guide these animals to use the one part of the little strip there to uh, to travel on. I've set up a couple cameras and I was getting some daylight photos of some bucks checking these uh, scrapes out along this field. So I thought now was the perfect time to get in there. I just had to catch the wind at the right time. I was able to do so and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys the uh, footage of the hunt. Here we go.
Well, I hope my guy could shot on that guy. I shot him anyway. <laughs> um, should have been right at 30 yards. Um, he's coming in a little bit, give him a little bit of a grunt. Get out there, out the horse grunt tube. Come right in, perfect. He was a little bit quartered too. So I'm a little bit far on his shoulders a little bit. I let him have it. He acted like he was hit good, so. Um, we'll give him a little bit here. Let the old nerves shake it down a little bit. Uh, we'll go after him here a little bit. All right, guys. Yes, yes. 2018, baby. November 4th. The bucks are on the cruise. I had some does come in. Um, I noticed a couple of them had uh, the darker patches on their on their rear legs, so I didn't want to. I was wanting to take a doe, but I decided not to. Uh, let those does stay here. They kept they kept looking over that way, looking that way, looking that way. I kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and and finally, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a nine point, uh, real tall tined, uh, nice deer for this area. So I'm 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 thrilled. I'll I'll take it any day. All right, guys. I'm going to and uh, I really want to go in there and look at the arrow before it gets dark and see what kind of blood I got. <sighs> Alright, here we go. I still got a little fawn over here dancing around. 20 yards from me. You can play here walking. There it is. They're finally seen me. Well, I go ahead and I get my stuff all packed up and I get down out of the stand and I go over to the arrow and, and right away I'm I'm disappointed. I could tell right away that the arrow had deflected on a bone and had one of the fletchings even had gotten sheared off on it. <clears throat> Wasn't any blood immediately right there where I had shot the deer. So I went ahead and, and went on around to the field there where the deer had, had run off to and and I found blood once I got up to the field uh, about 100 yards worth. Uh, pretty good trail, I, I would I say. Um, but the blood was pretty dark, and I know I didn't shoot the deer back far enough for it to be liver. So right away I had I was thinking you know probably flesh wound. <clears throat> but I didn't want to give up on it. So uh, we went ahead and pulled out that night. Me and a buddy go back and we track. We find the trail of blood leads out right in the middle of the field. We couldn't find any more blood that night. Uh, we hunted for probably four or five hours. They couldn't find anything. We had no direction, which no direction to go by. Um, the next day, I called in a guy that had a had a tracking dog. We ended up finding out, figuring out where the animal had went into the woods. Uh, he trailed, tracked up back in there, and man, it got thick. It got thick on us. Um, ended up turning dark eventually. Still hadn't found it yet, but he was pretty sure his dog had had hit on. The deer itself so we go back in the next day uh, during plenty of daylight uh, find out we end up finding where that deer had bedded there was a, a, a good sign where that deer had bedded bedded down but the deer wasn't there um, the dog ended up hitting up and, and running up on another animal that someone had uh, poached I, I, I'm just gonna assume a dead animal that was back in there that that someone had poached because it had a shot wound in its neck. Um, so, obviously, right there, our, pretty much, we were busted. We didn't know which if the if the dog had gotten off onto that scent and what drug us down into there. If that blood puddle that we had come across was the deer that was already sh found dead, or if it was mine. We retracked and tracked back and retracked and tracked back. Couldn't do nothing with it. Couldn't find the, my animal anywhere. Um, so there was no visible blood to follow, no trail to follow. So we were pretty much going solely on just what the dog was telling us. So after, like I said, three days of tracking, um, reluctantly had to give up, give up the pursuit of trying to find that animal. I'll keep looking for it through the season. Uh, try to fill a couple doe tags, and and I'll, I'll keep keep my eyes out in the area and see if I can come across it but uh, not looking good so that's how uh, that's how that that's that, that, that actual hunt rolled out 
and uh, very disappointed in the shot that I took. I was, I wasn't, I was, uh, I was just, I was very confident at the time of the shot. I had no doubt that I was going to, that I had, that I was going to be able to place a, a, you know, a nice shot on an animal. I was beyond confident on it. But that's just kind of the way it goes, and hopefully uh, the guy comes back around and, and pulls through and uh, is healthy, and, and maybe I'll get another shot at him next year or later, later on the season. I'm not sure. So, anyway, guys, that's how that turned out, and uh, you'll have fun to get out there. <laughs>